Hey guys, it's Emma here. So today I'm going to be doing a video on going to Coventry Cathedral. Um, I'm really excited because I love learning about Churchill um, and I just love like English history. So I thought I would bring you along with me to go to Coventry the Cathedral and we're going on the train, not by boats because you can go, there is a Coventry Cathedral canal. Well, there is a canal to go to Coventry Cathedral. Um, but I've, we've just heard there's loads of stuff that you can get caught in your weed hatch. And we just thought it'd be easier to go by train to Coventry Cathedral. And I've said Coventry Cathedral a load of times, so I apologize for that. Um, but let's go. So as you know, my comments are disabled. And if you're new to my channel, you can go and check out those last two videos if you want to be filled in. Um, but yes, my comments have been disabled. So if you do want to contact me at all or um, comment on any, any of my videos, I do have social medias. I have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And they're all the same name as my YouTube channel. I also do have a Patreon page. So if you want to comment on those, I will always respond to those. Um, and I also do have an email, leanabragorilla.gmail.com if you also want to contact me there. So the original Coventry Cathedral got bombed on the 14th of November 1940 um, in the middle of the World War II. So here is the original cathedral and there is a theory that Churchill knew that Coventry was going to be bombed and did nothing about it because they knew the German secret code. So they didn't, they didn't stop Coventry being bombed but it did end up them being able to win the World War II. 600 people died in the Coventry bombing. So the new cathedral was designed by Basil Spence. So the foundation stone was laid on March 1956 and the consecration ceremony was taken place on the 25th of May 1962. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me I once was So as you go into the new cathedral you see this um, big screen and it was engraved and it's called the West Screen. So here is the nave of the cathedral and the, here is a tapestry and it was designed by Graham Sutherland. So here is the baptistry window designed by John Piper and it was actually a really sunny day so it was really beautiful. So here is the font, it was, it's made out of sandstone and it came from Bethlehem. pulpit. So there are eight panels in the cathedral that are engraved with scriptures. This is the Chapel of Christ in Gethsemane. So here is the Chapel of Christ the Servant. This is the high altar. So here is the Chapel of Unity. So when we came out of the cathedral, we went to the Herbert Art Gallery and Museum. And when we went into the museum, we saw a Anderson shelter. 
that would have been used in the Coventry bombings. Hey, so I hoped you liked this video and I hoped you liked learning a bit more about Coventry Cathedral because it was actually quite interesting going there and I learned a bit um, about World War II and I even watched a few films and documentaries on it. Um, so this is actually really fun and I definitely recommend you go there if you live in England. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I do a video. And comment down below what you would like to see next. And yeah, see you later. Bye!